people. It's never enough people. <laughs> it's never enough people to know about what happened that day. It's very interesting. And these individuals that that put their life on the line to go help those people and everything else get out in the terrible way that we did. But these folks deserve the utmost respect and honor. The utmost respect and honor. I'm going to leave that up there for a second. What else do we have here? What else do we have here? The NPR. And it just goes down through all of these like individuals. So like I'm going to zoom it out a little bit. Espinosa, man. It goes over all the all of the individuals. Sergeant G. This is Taylor Hoover, thirty one. It's a Marine Corps sergeant. Airport suicide bomb, oh, man. That's crazy. Insane, man. Shout out to them. Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Seenhouse. I feel like I met this guy before. He looks familiar. Army Staff Sergeant Ryan C. Knaus, man. Marine Corps Corporal Hunter Lopez from in Dio, California. His parents, his parents' footsteps and joining the department as a deputy when he got home from his deployment. That's crazy, dog. That's crazy, man. He's going to be a police officer. Marine Corps Corporal Riley J. McCollum. He's 20 years old out of Jackson, Wyoming. This is, this folks are young, man. Folks are young. Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon tweeted on Friday thanking McCollum for his service. Woo! And sending condolences to his family. Very interesting. This is Lance Corporal Dylan R. Morello. Morella. Morola. Man, out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. IA 20. Young dude, man. He's young. He's Lance Corporal up here. And, they, and then he got promoted. Corporal. Yeah, they gave him that promotion. Now that he's made this act, this ultimate sacrifice, man. That's crazy. It's crazy, man. Was a graduate of Los Osos High School. According to ABC 7 of Los Angeles. Man, they had him on it. ABC Los Angeles, mad respect. It's Corporal Kareem M. Nakai? Nakui? Nakui. Uh, 20 of Norco, California. California. Dated photo. It's 13. Man. To save families of Af of the Afghans. That's crazy. This is Sergeant Joanny Rosario Picardo, twenty five of Lawrence, Massachusetts. Was assigned to the fifth Marine Expeditionary Brigade Naval Support. Activity in Bahrain, according to the Department of Defense, the Associated Press. The mayor of her hometown of Lawrence, Massachusetts, issued a statement after her death was announced, saying the city was heartbroken. <laughs> Crazy. Corporal Umberto A. Sanchez, out of 22, out of Logansport, is that Indiana? Yeah, or Indian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. 
Sanchez, 2017 graduate of Logan Sport High School, was a promising athlete. Devoted art student, according to Principal Matt Jones. Matt Jones was like, this guy's legit. Say, I love that. I love that. Jones tweeted from Sanchez, serving our country. Woo! Say less. This Lance Corporal Jared Smits, 20 of St. Charles. Is that Missouri? <clears throat> Or Minnesota. Let's read. Smith was was on his first deployment, having been sent from Jordan. Oh, he got to go to Jordan to help with the evacuation efforts. Tells Morning Edition that from a young age, Derek or, or Jer, excuse me, Jarrett was constantly happy. If you had the opportunity to look through our photo albums, you would see no matter how we captured him on camera, he was always smiling. Man, that's crazy. Oof. It's crazy. St. Louis. Schmidt's former girlfriend, or girlfriend, whom he kept in touch with, told that she will miss his laugh the most. That's insane. Navy Corpsman Maxton W. Soviet, 22 of Berlin Heights, Ohio, holding it down for the Corpsman. Shout out to this guy. The Soviet family, or excuse me, the Soviet family released a statement on Saturday about the loss of their son Max, who they said planned to make a career out of the Navy service. Woof! We are struggling to come to grips with the personal tragedy. Prefer to grieve with close friends and family. Unfathomable danger. Whew. It's crazy. It's because words have meaning. Multiple Ohio lawmakers released statements about Max deaths, including Ohio Senator Rob Portman. Representative Marcy um, Captor and Representative Tim Ryan of all express or all of them express their condolences for his families and friends. That's crazy. Marine Corps Corporal Dagan W. Page, 23 of Omaha, Nebraska. I got a couple folks out there. In Nebraska, Page served in the 2nd Battalion, 1st Marine Regiment, based out of Camp Pendleton, California. He, saved, he served out of 2 1. That's crazy. That's crazy. He joined the Marines after graduating from Miller South High School in Omaha. He grew up in Nebraska and Iowa and his family said in a statement published in the Omaha World Herald he was a boy scout who was who played hockey in his youth and he was a die hard Chicago Blackhawks fan the family said he had a tough outer shell and giant heart and had the words death before dishonored tattooed on the chest Woo! say less and this is like his uh Little Facebook that they made for him. Shout out to them. Shout out to his family. Surrounded our family during these first years or, or, or first few days. Okay. These are all pictures of him and stuff like that. That's crazy. Shout out to the NPR for doing this. Shout out to the NPR for doing this. Shout out to all these individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice, man, for the greater good <clears throat> to go help people out. It's insane, man. Insane the times that we are. We still got some good people out here laying it on the line. <laughs> laying it on the line for the for the American people and man, for for those folks out there that needed to get out of there. 
of this terrible, terrible Afghanistan pullout, man. Absolute L. Absolute L. But shout out to these folks. Shout out to these folks, man.